why daylight saving time exists and is so popular. The time shift and start as a way to maximize limited daily hours, but its benefits are debatable. Fall marks many changes, cooler weathers, shorter days, leaves changing color. But for many people in the U.S., the approach of autumn also means the end of daylight saving time. This period, often incorrectly called daylight savings time, begins at 2 p.m. local time on the second Sunday in March, when clocks bring forward an hour, typically causing observers to lose an hour of sleep. Daylight saving time ends at 2 a.m. local time on the first Sunday in the November, when clocks fall back an hour and observers gain an hour of sleep. The idea behind the clock shift is to minimize sunlight in the northern hemisphere as they start to lengthen at the springs and then wane in the fall. The logic is that by spring, forward and falling back, people add an hour of sunlight to the end of the work day. But the benefits of this change are controversial and the shift can have measurable impact on health. What's behind the changes in sunlight? Seasonal shift in the length of a day come from Earth's self-killer rotation. Our planet turns on its axis at a relatively constant 23.4 degree angle relative to its path around the sun. This means that while Equator usually enjoys roughly 12 hours on post day and night year round, the same isn't true the further north or south you go. Summertime marks the northern hemisphere's time to shine. It leans toward the sun, causing longer and warmer days. Meanwhile, the southern hemisphere is plunged into the short days of winter as it tilts away from the sun. Six months later, the situation reserved and winter grips the north wild line bathes the sound. Who observe daylight saving time? Not everyone is in on the clock changing frenzy. In the United States, Hawaii, most of Arizona, ex in excluding the Navajo Nation, and the territories of Guam, Puerto Rico, American Samu, the U.S. Virgin Islands, and the Northern Mariana Islands, all opt out of daylight saving time. Globally, the popularity of changing clocks vary as well. Most of the North American Europe, New Zealand, and a few regions of the Middle East. Middle East are in on the annual shift, though each have different start and stop dates. But the majority of Africa and Asia do not change the clocks. South America and and Australia are split on the matter. Are the benefits to daylight saving time? For many, the change may seem meddlesome, resulting in missed meetings and sleepy citizens. There may be even more severe effect. Some studies identified an increase in heart attacks that coincide with springing forward and a slight decrease when falling back. Other studies suggest the time change could be linked to an increase of fatal car accidents, though the effect is small relative to the total number of crashes each year. Still, other concerns include impacts to the immune system due to the inevitable sleep loss. What's more, many studies have questioned whether there have ever been energy savings at all. A 2008 study from the U.S. Department of Energy suggested that in the United States, an extra four weeks of daylight saving time saved about 0.5% in total electricity a day. But others conclude the situation is largely a wash. The later sunlight hours do often reduce electricity used during this time, but they also spur more intense use of air conditioning in the evening or greater energy demands to light up the dark mornings. Even so, those impacts may be location-specific. One study found that daylight saving time caused an energy, an increase in energy demand and pollution emissions in Indiana, while others found it led to slight reductions in energy use in Norway and Sweden. These days, arguments in favor of daylight saving time generally center on the boost the time shift gives the evening activities. People tend to go outside when it's light after work, playing sports, going for walks, taking kids to the playground rather than sitting on the couch. Many outdoor industries, including golf and barbecue, have even promoted daylight saving time, which they say boosts profits. The petroleum industry is also a fan, as people drive more if it is still light after work or school. But in many places, the time shift is very popular. Europe spending more 
move away from the annual change stemmed from a survey that revealed roughly 80% of some 4.6 million re respondents were against deadline saving time, and some American states are also starting to push for changes. For now, however, if you live in a region that saves the clocks twice a year, be wary of its 